Alright guys, so I just picked up a new Ultra HD 4K monitor by LG. It's a IPS rated for 4K. Uh, it's 27 inch. And I just finished unboxing it here. Um, here's the screen. Here's all the accessories that come with it. Okay, I just finished unpackaging all the uh, the plastic wrapper uh, inside. It includes this AC adapter. Um, I'm going to use this HDMI standard cable, um, the display port to display port, um, here's the base, here's the little stand, and uh, I'll assemble this in a second, I'm just showing you all the accessories, and this is a power cable, and let's see here in the back, flip around, base will be attached to that, and then it's kind of upside down right now, but you can still see there's a two HDMI uh, display port uh, and a power adapter cable there. Okay, anyhow, I'll check back with you after I assemble this. I finished hooking up the second 4K um, LG 27 inch monitor um, right here. As you can see here, there's an HDMI cable and an AC adapter to the wall. I have not hooked up the HDMI cable yet but it's right here here's my current laptop and as well as uh, the first 4k they're both pretty much identical but uh, let's see what happens when I go ahead and hook this up right here so again I'm gonna use the insignia mini display port to HDMI adapter I just unboxed it it's gonna be right here I'm gonna connect this end here to the HDMI cable um, from my 4K monitor. I'm gonna go ahead and do it now. Um, doing this with one hand, so it's gonna be kind of hard here. All right, all right. So that's connected, and this end here. Display port. I'm gonna go ahead and connect it right here to the side. With the HDMI micro port. And as you can see what happens. Okay, so I'll plug it in and it shows uh, this message here on the screen to view the 4K at 60 hertz or ultra hd deep color video via it connected um, it's saying go ahead and change it in the menus um, so down here underneath the lg uh, logo there's a button you press on it once it shows up this menu you toggle it to the left and it'll pop up this menu here and then i'm just going to go ahead and scroll down um, to the list here so picture mode um, I think my first monitor over here, I left it at um, FPS game one. I mean, it did. it's up to you, the user, uh, to set these settings, whichever pitch quality that you guys prefer, or the frame rate. Uh, I prefer it on P FPS game one. I'm just going to leave it there. And then uh, go to picture adjust. So we're going to change HDMI Ultra HD Deep Color. I'm going to turn that on. Okay, and then if the screen here turns off. And then it, it comes back on. And then here's a message. So, uh, caution, make sure to use a supplied display port and HDMI cable. Okay. So the HDMI cable is included with the 4K monitor, uh, but the display port has purchased it separately. And it connects right there um, via the MacBook Pro uh, Thunderbolt port and then the other end to the HDMI output of the 4K monitor. Okay, so I'm going to go back to menu. Okay, I'm good with that. I'm going to go to general, 
we'll go ahead and turn on smart energy uh, savings. I'm going to put on high power LED. Turn that on. Automatic standby. Uh, this just means if the monitor is on for a set amount of time, like four, six, or eight hours, the screen will automatically shut off. In that case, um, I don't really want that to happen, so I'm just going to leave it off. And I'm not sure what these are, so I'm just going to leave it alone. And that's pretty much it. I'm just going to go ahead and toggle all the way to the left and make sure uh, the screen is everything's accounted for. So there we go. You have here a 4K monitor, number one laptop, and the second 4K monitor. So it works fine. So I'm back. I um, just want to demonstrate um, that this is indeed hooked up to two 4K monitor. You can see here this is my mouse here in the middle. And if I drag it out of the screen all the way to the right, it will appear on my laptop right there. And if I drag it out of the screen all the way to the right, it will appear on the second 4K 27-inch LG monitor. And we can actually change this arrangement if you like by going to the top left where the Apple icon is and click on system preferences and then go to the icon displays and go to arrangement and then simply holding it down and dragging it um, around to your custom orientation and in my case I have a 4G monitor here, my laptop here and the second 4G monitor there then you want to go ahead and go to display and just make sure everything here is verified so I left my resolution as default and turn the brightness all the way up I actually unchecked automatically adjust brightness that way the vividness of the screen will always be at a hundred percent when it when I left it checked it kinda adjusted by itself um, the level of brightness and I didn't really like that so I just left it off and once you're done and satisfied with your settings go ahead and just exit out and that's how you set up a second HDMI monitor to a single MacBook Pro. Alright guys, thanks for visiting. Rate, subscribe, and like.